Hey, seventh graders, let's take a look at our order of operations practice number four. We're just going to go over the directions. You're going to work on this on your own, um, bring it back to class next week, and then we'll go over all the answers. It'll be great. Um, I'm excited for you to try this on your own without me holding your hand and then bring all your questions and everything when you come back, okay? Um, at the top there, we're going to put parentheses around the prepositional phrases and label the preposition and the object of the preposition, just like we always do. Mrs. Rains made us a handy dandy acronym to remember our weird prepositions. It's flat bows. I like it. I hope you like it. Um, I have from and for for F, like for L, at, about, after, and as for A, T is to, B is before and because of. You'll notice I kind of like put a little extra mark there because those work together. Remember, you can put brackets around them if it helps you remember. O is of, W is with, and S is since. Uh, sorry, I'm sniffly, guys. Uh, second, we will label our subordinate conjunctions, SC, and underline all of our adverb clauses. Remember, our subordinating conjunctions, we have a, an acronym for that, AWUBIS, right? Lots of fun to say. Make your silly face and such. Um, so after, although, as, while, when, until, before, because, if, and since. Remember, you can pause at any time if I'm going to quickly re-listen to things, whatever you need to do. Number three, you're going to look for gerunds, participles, and infinitives. And if it helps you to write down an example, do that, right? So for a gerund, verb plus ing acting like a noun. So running is my favorite, period. Running is the noun. It's the subject of my sentence. It's what is. And it's, uh, so it's a gerund. It's run plus ing. Participle, verb plus ing equals adjective. I could do running, comma, the boy was excited, period. It's a very complex sentence, right guys? So their running is describing the boy, run plus ing. And then infinitive, to plus a verb acting like a noun. It can act like other things too, but we're focusing on it as a noun right now. So to run makes me happy. To run is my noun. It's what makes me happy. Um, you're gonna mark all of those just like we have in the past. Then there is predicate, adjective, and predicate noun. And these are these are tougher, right? So predicate adjectives and predicate nouns come after linking verbs. And you'll see there's a big list of linking verbs there. You probably learned about those a couple years ago. Back in fifth grade, you guys started linking verbs, right? So we've covered predicate adjective and predicate noun some this year, but not too, too much. So we're reviewing it here. When you have a noun plus a linking verb plus an adjective, you have a predicate that adjective is a predicate adjective it's describing the noun so um, he is happy happy is a predicate adjective you could write that example if it helped you um, a predicate noun would be a noun plus a linking verb plus a noun right so it's gonna look kind of like in a positive phrase but not really you can also always pull out your English workshop if you would like to look at more examples of predicate adjectives and predicate nouns once you've labeled any predicate adjectives or predicate nouns, and keep in mind, not all of these sentences have all these things, right guys? We know that. Um, then you'll label, label, whew, label your simple subject and your simple predicate. Label any direct objects, the who or what is doing uh, the action impacts, right? And the indirect objects, to whom or what or for whom or what. And then you're going to correct the punctuation. I know you're going to be amazing at this. Um, it's okay to make mistakes. I know you're going to try your best. And I will look at this with you when we get back next week. I can't wait. Bye, guys.